on this computer. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain basic things about, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, everybody, it is good. Everybody can uh, mute yourself so that you can, you can enjoy my speech for some time. Okay, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a learning time, okay? But everyone is going to learn something. Actually, in the organization planning, a lot of things are improved, but we are only talking about basic things today. Possibly, uh, one by one, we can learn about this. What is cartonization planning? And where do we use this cartonization planning? Cartonization planning uh, is to improve the creation of shipping handling units based on the information from the product master data and outbound delivery orders. So that means in the product master data, if you have some information like quantities, volume, weight, and all these things, based on that system is going to propose planned shippages in the outbound delivery to load the HUs in the, I mean, to create the ship HUs in process of outbound delivery packing process or shipping process. So these planned ship HUs are used as a template for creating shipping HUs, either it is during picking or packing. Okay. So there are three options are there. Where do we create this planned ship HUs and how do we create that we are going to learn later. Okay. So it is in the SAP help, a PSHU is an object similar to a ship HU. It's a planned ship HU, but similar to a ship HU. And describing a packaging metal and the items to be contained in. Example, planned ship HU also like a ship HU, but it will be having a different number. It's a dummy number is going to be generated. And it's like a uh, ship HU. In contrast to a shipping HU, a PSHU does not physically exist in the warehouse. As I said, it is a dummy HU and it is only used for planning the, planning to create the ship HUs. You can create ship HUs manually or automatically in the cartonization planning. You can create nested, even nested PSHUs for the cartonization planning of the deliveries where HUs are planned into larger HUs. So I did not see this earlier. Maybe we can try to see this also, possibly maybe in the next week or this week. Okay. So the, I mean, algorithms are going to play a major role out here. What algorithm you are going to use, whether it is standard or you are going to create a new one. And algorithms are defined as an implementation of the already available baddies. Okay. So what are the prerequisites for the cartonization planning? Where are, what are the features of this cartonization planning? You can see it all. So we'll talk about prerequisites for the cartonization planning. And then features. That's what I said. There are three options to generate cartonization planning. Cartonization planning for outbound delivery orders. And then cartonization planning for graves. Cartonization planning during warehouse order creation. There are three options are there. And we also, uh, you can test automatic cartonization planning with different algorithm on this case. And uh, system uses this planning, planned ship HUs as a template to creating ship HUs during that. And picking with cartonization planning, packing with cartonization planning. And you can also have. As a end user, you can also do this thing. Monitor you can cartonization planning. Maintenance of the plan should get you. That means you can delete, you can uh, maintain all these options are there. And also use cases also provided on. Uh, just give me a minute, I'll be back. Just give me a minute, I'll be back. Let's talk. Okay, yeah. I started recording again, yeah. So prerequisites for the cartonization planning. So hope you guys got a basic information. Cartonization planning used in creating the planned ship features before doing the picking or packing, okay? 
what's uh, what's the configuration need to be done okay one thing why i'm showing sap help actually people are not interested to see sap help before so now SAP is giving some kind of a good information where what you can do on these things. So based on this also, you can do some experiment with your mind and with your learning. So SAP help also more useful to do the configuration and do the processes most of the times, so, okay? So these are the Prerequisites for determination process of process profiles, cartonization plan. You have carried out this customized defined process profiles for cartonization plan and determination, determine process profile for cartonization plan. These two has to be done. So, so if you want to learn more about, you can see this extended warehouse management, goods issue process, goods issue process, and cartonization planning. Under this, you will be having. These two configurations. Okay, you can see this like this. These are the configurations. Okay, so actually there are other configurations also here, but those are all these are optional. Okay, to modify the standard grouping outbound delivery order items before executing. So there is a group party called group items. We have to use that body but it is not required to run our scenario right now so let's do one thing uh, let's do the configuration what sap is saying right now in our system so i'll keep it a small screen out here okay and then i will, I will also keep my sap screen side by side Sir, uh, uh, one doubt shall I ask? Huh? Yes, go ahead. Uh, you, uh, we, we have cartonation planning at wave level. Uh, we have at uh, the warehouse order level. And uh, I think one more level also we have, right? So no. normally where they will, uh, the users uh, normally, in the, typically uh, where they will be using this cartonation planning uh, uh, in the warehouse order level or wave level, or I think yeah, we'll see that. That's that's the yeah. entire okay, okay, okay. Configuration fine. itself is going to help us. Okay, 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 fine. So go to SPRO and then see extended warehouse management. That's what SAP says customizing extended warehouse management. It's very easy to understand. Most of the times people will be, okay, where do I need to go? That's what you may be having a doubt, and also it is going to. So in the extended warehouse management, push issue process, and then there is a configuration called cartonization plan. Okay, in this, first of all, we need to check number, number ranges for the cartonization plan. Let's see, um, I think 56, 7 is already done. Okay, that's not done yet. Number ranges for this zero one two is maintain one right. So I'm just planning to create this number ranges. Okay, and then Configure cartonization planning at warehouse number level. Second option. This will always be a fifty-six A one. Standard SAP when we load that. Cartonization planning related VC uh, sets, system is going to give you zero cap and then PSHU automatically or get determination processor. So, no need to worry about this. We'll talk about what is zero cap and then what is PSHU layout is. PSHU layout is work center layout. So, we'll see that a little later. Just this is what standard SAP provides. 
keep, keep that right now. And then define algorithm profile for cauterization plan. This is also a standard. SAP one, SAP minimized minimum num, minimize the number of entries. SAP one is provided by standard. If you want to create your own, but we use standard right now. So maintain algorithm pro properties. So your warehouse number is not there. Let's enter fifty six A one here, and then technical properties name fifty six A one. Okay. I have added warehouse number. Go to algorithm sequence. We are using cartonization planning, not the PB algorithm. LCPB algorithm actually packaging builder. PB means packaging builder. That's a new functionality added uh, recently from one eight zero nine onwards. We have to work on this. We have to see how it is going to work later on. Then, so, can someone mute? Huh? Someone mute, right? Someone joined two times, I think. Someone joined two times. Yeah. Okay. So, algorithm profile SAP, cap algorithm profile is given SAP 1. And then go ahead here. 56A1 is a SAPC algorithm profile is already there with SAP. This is standard SAPC. Every warehouse will be in the same. You can see this. So, what is SAP or here? SAP is patternization planning basic, okay, not the package builder. So this, this is standard SAP provides just, I just showed you this thing and then go back and then see another configuration, access sequence for algorithm profiles. Okay. So when you say that, just a second, uh, configure, we have done this. Then I think access sequence for 54 A1 exams. I have done some changes. Yeah. The same way, if this is about warehouse process type. Okay. Based on warehouse process type, we can configure this 54 A1 exams. So here, when you say new entries, you can do any one of them. The sequence you can select. Present, I'm checking only warehouse process type label. That means based on the warehouse process type, system has to define, system has to determine the patternization uh, planning. But I have given warehouse process type as a access sequence, but I have to enter the warehouse process type or somewhere here, I tell you the next step. Yeah, this 54A1 is already defined earlier. One by one, we will see. Uh, maybe PSHU creation during picking, packing, and then ODOs packing. There are three options are there. If you see standard. Mm -hmm. Your voice is breaking. Yeah, just, just give me some time. I'll, I'll explain. I'll, I'll give the time to questions. Okay. Yeah, go here. Copy from the same thing from standard SAP to your warehouse. So, 56A1. And then what it indicates, let's see that now. The SAP1 process profile is having during warehouse order creation, WO creation for picking task. And shipage is created during picking. That option is selected. So what about next one? SAP2 is given for warehouse during packing, during warehouse auto creation, ship edges are created during packing, second option. Third option is 
outbound delivery orders, it is created during packing itself. Just a second. Everyone has got Razu, uh, got vaccinated. Yeah, uh, Mohan, yeah. Uh, uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm just asking, I hope, because uh, everyone has got vaccinated. Um, so no, not yet, not yet. We are yet to uh, yeah. From today onwards, 18 years ago, they are providing vaccinations. So maybe, let's see, people, I mean, vaccines are not available to get the, get it done. It's going to sometime. Yeah, yeah, practicing yeah. specifications maintained. What is the next step here? Yeah. Why the page is getting okay? Number ages are maintained. Okay, uh, define algorithm profile standard we have used, sequence also standard we have used, number ranges we have used, and then define condition types. We have seen that. The maintain packaging specification, we have done that. Define determination procedure. Um, let's see, what is that? Configure coordination planning at warehouse number level also done. Define determination procedure. Where it is. Determine packaging specification, determine IR, it is also done. So then, is there anything to be maintained in the easy access screen? Logistics, the CM basis, extended warehouse management, and then somewhere master data is there. Sorry? Anybody remember that master data somewhere? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Let me check in my system. I'll also tell. Yeah, here. Yeah, here. So, determine algorithm profiles for cognition planning. So, here, you will go to pick 4A1. Then, it's maintained with 2010 SAPC. Because I maintained or there is only warehouse process type, right? Not activity area, route. just I maintained only. Access sequence only uh, WPT level, right? WPT, so the WPT is maintained and algorithm also maintained. PB, PB, we'll see that later. 
how it is going to work. And then somewhere assign package and metals to product. This is also for PB, I think. It's also for PB. And then it's not one. Only this one is to be maintained. Let's go ahead with slash and slash SCWM slash and VL01N. Let's see if any issue is there, then we can. Rectify that. Now it's the game. Okay. First of all, we need to check whether process profile is determined or not. It's very, very important. So when you see here, you cannot see process profile here. Okay. You cannot see process profile relevant, any tick box or anything, but when you see here, in the line process profile is there. So that means that process profile will only you can see in the list view, not on the form view. That's very important to understand. Process profile is determined SAP one, which is, which is according to the standard, it's working fine. Let's take this delivery your process profile determined, but something we need to go with delivery processing somewhere, box scheduling, patronization planning. SAP one is for deliveries, outbound deliveries, right? PFPSHUs. And then otherwise we do one thing. We use this. And where is my, where is my number? Execute. Is the ready phone here? It's already created here automatically. Uh, we have checked, no? Automatic creation somewhere we checked, right? No? I don't remember, but yeah. So it's created. Uh, this is my... First experiment uh, successfully created without any without giving any error. So, so that, what is this, what is this transaction? The DLV. The cap. CAP cap transaction. So this let me check. Let me execute. Only one, it's the delivery number. I will click on this. Yeah, 108. And it's created automatically for this. Let me delete this first and then recreate manually. Because of pack spec, it is creating huh? automatically? No. Uh, somewhere, somewhere I mentioned automatically. Uh, SAP one is auto automatic HU, HU uh -huh. okay. Let me do this one with outbound delivery orders. Execute. It's not able to find out. Without bundle, goose issue, without bundle, without out. Or directly delete in the monitor, we can directly delete now. Mm -hmm. We can delete now, yeah. yeah. yeah.
You can do it from here, right? Somewhere here. Uh, we we can like a normal h a normal h you know we can delete in the documents uh, h you normal h you but psu i don't know whether we can delete here there's an op there should be an option over here uh yes normal h you we have option but uh, this there is sap given some program also We'll try here. Uh, I think SAP given some program like uh, uh, that's that is same T code only, similar to that. Same T code only, but yeah, it get an option to delete or here itself. Delete plan should be choose. So with outbound only options. If I say, can I say? Says it's not. Yeah. Otherwise, here we can delete it. Okay. I'll delete from here. Save. Now let's generate this automatic cartonization planning. Let's generate it, and then somewhere log also we can see. Yeah. How it is working. See this. One delivery items provided for the cartonization planning, grouping done. One cap algorithm profile with packaging metric assignment is done. Three messages, one plan sheet which you created, and then it is not there. On what basis it was created? Because I have not activated. Application log. So, it's grouping. This is my delivery, and then it was checking. The CPC algorithm profile is available with tax spec six thirty five, and then it's calling for daddy startup partnership planning. Delivery items have overall of ten kg volume. This and capital P is this. Plan sequence is created. This one, item tagged into plan sequence. Okay, okay. This is what it is created. Let's do one thing. We'll go a little depth of this. Uh, different packaging materials, sir. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. Iteration, different with the different iterations. Go to Thank you. 
Let's do one thing. I will extend this packaging material directly to my warehouse. And then I will use one of all of them in my, but I'll remove this 56A1. That's good. Okay, thanks. Uh, Raju, in each this uh, HU, uh, oh. you have same material? No, 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 different, different material. See this box XXL, box X, box oh. Z, uh, oh. something like that. And also weights are different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last time uh, we were working successful, but uh, it was not uh, taking different packaging material, no? For smaller material, uh, smaller weight uh, material, it has to take. Uh, same thing will happen now also. Let's see. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Deepak, I think extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and extra large. This is this is what. Uh, this can thing. can you show the material also? Maybe when we try. Yeah. It's a description. <clears throat> no. Dude. 
in this list view we cannot see no no we cannot see x axis x axis and it has 1 kg maximum maximum volume is this and length width height also given out pakka plan okay small box yes okay it has 2 kg 425 is going to be allowed back so medium box m 3 kg 635 cc Four kg eight forty five. Excel five kg thousand fifty five. So I'm not sure. So large is ten kg approximately. Then it's not going to work for us. Oh, maximum is six kg only. We cannot be able to accommodate any one of them. Ours is ten kg, right? Ah, now it is creating something different here. Oh. Taking, you know, it's taking it's yeah. taking six pieces in double XL, major one. Oh, what and changes then, you have done, sir, earlier to now? Nothing here. I just added my this thing, and then it is taking box XXL four. I think it's good. Earlier it is determining only always it is determining only uh, that uh, bigger box, not determining the smaller box earlier. Yeah, always bigger box, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's and not taking point. the smaller box. When the when it lesser the weight, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, can you go back to that other? Can you see that other one also? Yeah, let's see this one. Grouping. Okay. This is an item ten. And then, cap algorithm profile exists. Six packaging materials assistant. So it is there. A yeah, box X X X S M L X L. Okay, X X L. You implemented any body, sir? Nothing here. I did not do. Somebody has done that. I don't know. Uh mm huh. -hmm. We we thought of doing that right earlier. There's some issues so that we call in yes. baddie. Yes, yes, yes. Just say we want minimum number of issues. Delivery items have overall 10 kg. And then splitting 10 outbound delivery order 1089. Remaining can be packed into X. Okay. Uh, box L. Okay, first one is taking. Let's see two plant ship issues created. Let's see how oh, it is. X X X L X X L means double X L X L. It's my shirt size, I think. <laughs> This is X X L. Now oh, then, fine. It's a major one. It was taken into consideration. I've not done anything. Six kg. It was packed. That's good. And then L L is for large. Uh, okay. Why? Let's see. It's a five kg, but ours is four kg, right? Instead of going to the five kg, it was packed into four kg, right? It's okay. Something is. It taken four kg for five. Yes, yeah, six plus four. This is okay, right? Earlier it is taking yes, the yes. same XL, XL, XXL, XXL only. It always takes smaller product or medium product or bigger product. It goes to bigger box earlier. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I'll take twenty. How it is going to be here? Earlier, it was uh, doing some loss to the warehouse. Yeah, 
<laughs> now it is properly i have not changed anything actually just follow standard steps this is 1010 1090 first of all we need to check whether 1090 created with 